Hi, my name is Carl Hildebrand, and uh, every, actually everybody calls me Butch. I'd like to talk to you about my life. I'm 65 years old, and uh, I've been a Christian most of that time. Um, I, it was 1973 when I accepted Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. But I never really started following him, got real serious, until actually about five or six years ago. I want to talk about Tuesday nights, the 12 steps. It talks about uh, people with addictions and problems and alcoholics uh, that, uh, that want to help themselves. Well, I don't have an addiction problem as far as alcohol or drugs. Monoxy Valley Church. I've been attending since we got started. It's a very important part of my life. It keeps me focused on who I am and who God is that I can't, but He can. And I would have to tell you that um, working the 12-step spiritual recovery process has been a life-changing, ongoing, one day at a time, one moment at a time, um, uh, such a special, important part of my life. Talking with Pastor Gary at Tuesday night and talking to the men's group that I'm, that I'm involved with, giving up my will to the Lord has been the most difficult thing in my life. I pretty much got away from, for the most part, judging people. Um, I learned immediately, which was also, once that weight was lifted off my chest with, with Pastor Mark, but Pastor Gary also instructed me that the past is the past. And that's been one of the highlights is, I don't worry about what happened yesterday. That was yesterday. I can't control it. If there was anything I could change about yesterday, I'd bring my son back. And that isn't happening. And I will see him one day. And I've tried to explain to him at the cemetery very nicely that I just don't think it's my time. And it's because of Pastor Gary, it's because of the Tuesday night group, it's because of this church that I've been able to identify that, that it's just not my time. And his death has got to be a meaningful. And that may be my position to be able to give testimony of what happened to our son. Hi, I'm Gary Byers, and I'm a dirty, rotten, stinking sinner. The whole concept started as the spiritual life director at Helping Up Mission in downtown Baltimore. I've been a pastor since uh, age 22. My whole adult life has been spent in ministry. And as I began to work as a pastor with drug addicts and alcoholics, I was trying to relate to them from my world, and I realized I got my stuff, they've got their stuff, we got different stuff, but we all got stuff, and I have to work on my stuff every day, and they need to work on their stuff every day. And so I got comfortable with acknowledging to them that I deal with my issues and they have to deal with theirs. And somewhere down the line, I just um, said, well, I'm a dirty, rotten, stinking sinner like anybody else. And it stuck. Even at church, um, got a nice little note from a, a teenage girl at church. Uh, Thank you, Pastor Gary, for your ministry. And I will never forget that you are a B-D-R-S-S. And I read the note and thanked her for the little note. And I said, now, what's a B-D-R-S-S? And she said, a bald, dirty, rotten, stinking sinner. (laughs) So that'd be me. And I actually like to say when we deal with addictions, uh, you may or may not be familiar with the fact that drug and alcohol uh, uh, addiction is discussed as whether it's a disease or not. And frankly, the leading authorities in the world can't agree on whether drug addiction and alcohol addiction should technically be called a disease. And as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter which side of the fence you're on. Uh, Whether drug or alcohol addiction is a disease or not, I do think we all have the dirty, rotten, stinking sinner disease. As far as I'm concerned, Drug addiction, 
alcohol addiction, uh, pornography, uh, gambling, depression, uh, control issues, they're all different symptoms of the same disease. And so we're all struggling with this, and uh, the, the sooner we can be honest that we all got our own stuff, and mine's maybe different than yours, but I got to deal with mine just like you have to deal with yours, we're really on the same footing. And so that's where DRSS, Dirty, Rotten, Stinking Sinner, came from. That be me, and I'm glad to, sh to pass my information on to anybody else. What's working for me, I hope will work for someone else as well. Uh, as, as a participating uh, member, every Sunday morning I feel like God says, Gary, I want you to do something. And I didn't know what it was. And I said, Every Sunday we can leave church and I'd say to my wife, Gail, God, I just know I'm supposed to do something. I don't know what it is. And she said, well, why don't you start a recovery group and do here what you do in Baltimore. And as soon as she said it, I said, yeah, I think, that's, I think that is what I'm supposed to do. So we began our group almost five years ago now. And we simply teach our church family the same things I teach the drug addicts and alcoholics at Helping Up Mission because we got different issues, but they're all the same issues. Well, first thing I found out was a bunch of people in my church family have the same struggles, exact same struggles with chemicals that some of the guys at, at, at my place in Baltimore have. And then the other issues that church family people have are just the same. And so we began to just work on whatever our problems are. We, we say, hurts, habits, or hang-ups. Doesn't have to do chemicals at all, necessarily, but we've all got hurts, habits, and hang-ups. And so on that basis, uh, we come and we apply the 12 steps to whatever it is we're struggling with. You may or may not be familiar with the fact that uh, there are probably about a hundred different 12-step groups worldwide today. Anytime a group of people uh, uh, get together and admit that they have the same problem, they try to start a 12-step group to deal with it. And so uh, the 12 steps work, whatever your problems, because the 12 steps are biblical principles for an everyday spiritual walk. And they work for whatever you struggle with, chemicals or not. And so at our group, um, our group is officially called Recovery for a Lifetime, but it's a Celebrate Recovery, CR kind of, of group. And so it doesn't matter what you struggle with, you're welcome and you fit right in because we're all working on something, maybe the same, maybe different, but we all need to do the same kinds of things for whatever our struggles are. And so um, at our group on a typical week, I think, probably about half our group has a chemical addiction background and the other half have other issues. But we all work on the same stuff. We all draw strength and support uh, from each other and we all find answers because all the answers come from the Bible, whether through the 12 steps or through the serenity prayer or through the uh, experience of someone else. That's where we're finding our hope and our strength and our answers. Well, many of us have that forever and the next thing squared away, nailed down, we're ready to go. But a lot of us are really struggling with being reasonably happy in this life. <laughs>